sous vide is a cooking method that restaurant chefs often use, and they've used it for years. It was an easy, no fail, consistent way to get really great moist results. Today, we're giving you a crash course so you can actually taste the benefits at home with Chef Chris McDonald. Now, I'm going to brag because you won't, but you've cooked for the queen, darling. Uh -huh. Excuse us. First of all, what does sous vide mean? What is sous vide? Well, sous vide translates in a vacuum. Okay. But um, so you've cooked sous vide, but you haven't known it. Okay, how? Because uh, sous vide is cooking in a sealed container in a water bath at a controlled temperature. So when you've soft boiled eggs or hard boiled eggs, you've actually cooked sous vide. And you're saying you could do breakfast as we're going to do, lunch, dinner, can, and dessert. Sure. Well, today we're going to do breakfast and dessert. I figure okay. breakfast TV. I thought we would cook eggs. That's nice of you. So this, this is the sous vide device, right? And you said it could start as low as 99 bucks. Well, this is an immersion. Yes. This is an immersion circulator. Uh, so it has a pump and a thermostat and a heating element, so it keeps the water at a very precise temperature. Okay. The trick to sous vide is the water has to be at a very controlled temperature. That's why you need a device. This one over here is a, basically a static water bath. It's so, so the size of a toaster oven. It has heating coils in the sides and the bottom and no pump because the water okay. just uh, becomes equal temperature throughout through convection. So the trick is but, the egg already has this little shell, but let's say you're doing salmon or chicken or vegetables, you put it in like a... a it needs a, to be sealed in a container, so w what we're doing today is, is it glass jars and eggs, but frequently you use a resealable freezer bag or uh, one of these sealing devices okay. that's sort of home sealing devices that are about $100. And, and it's And you can great. get them anywhere. Because let's say you're doing vegetables or chicken and your kids don't like rosemary. For the parents, you could do the two chicken breasts for you with whatever spices exactly. or herbs you like. And for the kids, it's plain with just olive oil you and can, salt. And you just set them up in the bags and you put them in here and go and do some gardening or clean the house, come back. Or watch the an tea. hour An hour later and your food is done. So how long so, will these eggs take? So these eggs are, these eggs take 13 minutes for a perfectly poached Egg. Okay. Now I know that you don't poach egg, and you can see it works equally well with brown and white eggs. Okay. Um, and you say you could even do scrambled in the Ziploc bag. You, you can just do put a whole soft scrambled eggs. The like. recipe is in my book okay. uh, for soft scrambled eggs, as well as you can make a, a, an omelet effectively. It'll take the shape of the bag, but you can whisk up your eggs with mushrooms or onions or herbs Whatever you like. and drop it in there go take a shower when you come out your eggs are How ready. How easy is that guys? So there you are for your breakfast. parents say the struggle of being a short order chef this makes it easier. Drop it in. Okay chef let's, so, let's build. Can you pull out careful that water's hot but not okay. extremely hot. Can you pull out that jar? That's hollandaise sauce that we've made sous vide. So how long have you kept this in there? So that takes about nah, 50 minutes to cook. 50? Yeah. So it does take And it longer. has the same yeah Everything takes a little bit longer because you're cooking at a lower temperature. Okay. But I mean, eggs, eggs can make you anxious because, yeah. uh, because you can o easily overcook, overcook them or scramble it. them. So if you're making, for instance, ice cream base or a custard sauce, um, you, you know, you can always, you can curdle it, right? And it's, it's, it's a bit of a problem. But here we have perfect oh, yeah, hollandaise sauce. It didn't seize so up or anything. So we're going to make, we're going to make uh, eggs benedict here. So you're putting the little bit of ham. So ham sauce. on an English muffin. And then we have to see now, the egg. So this is the real test shot. So this is the perfect poached egg. Now you see that the whites on eggs, there's two kinds. There's the th thick white and the thin white. And that thin white is when you poach an egg, you know you get all these little ghosties in the water. Yeah. So you can't eat those anyway. So this is how you By the way, do you know the egg is best for you when it's a little bit runny because you get more of the nutrients oh, into really? your body, right? I didn't know Versus that. overcooking. Great job, chef. This is really so, exciting, guys. Here you are. So pick it up. It is this book here, the complete sous vide cookbook, complete with all kinds of recipes for you. It's a great way, I think, to go into 2017, save time, and have great, nutritious, healthy meals. Breakfasttelevision.ca. Look at that. It's there fit you go. for the queen, really, the chef. Fit for the queen. Isn't it? There you are. I think she'd be amused. Right now, over to Kev. Beautiful.